Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and today we're solving Consequential by Philip Newman. This was originally posted in GAS on July 8th, 2024, and it is a Renban consecutive pair of Sudoku. So what does that mean? So we're placing the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And then additionally, we have Renban lines. Those are these kind of lavender purple lines in the grid. And each of these lines tells you that the digits on the line have to be a set of consecutive numbers, but they can be scrambled so they can appear in any order. So for example, this could be the numbers two, three, four, five, six, because that would be consecutive, but they don't necessarily have to appear in that order. They could be something like that instead. Or it could be five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they could appear in that order. Um, as long as they are consecutive, they can appear in any order along the line, but you can't repeat or skip any numbers. Then these consecutive pairs, the white dots tell you that the digits on either side are consecutive with each other, so one of them is one greater than the other one. And that is where we're going to start. So two is consecutive with one or three. And so now we're going to look at this run band line. This has to be a set of consecutive numbers, and it has to include a two. So there are only actually two ways that we can possibly do that with such a large set of consecutive numbers. We could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or we could go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because then we would have left off the two. And the thing to notice is that in both of those sets of digits, we have the number that is one greater than two, that is to say three. So we can't leave a three off entirely. If we did, then we wouldn't be able to fill in this run band. Therefore, we're leaving a one off entirely, which means we now know exactly what this set is. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that means the other digit that we leave off in row one has to be a nine, which makes this an eight. And then these digits are three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now if we look at vertically here, we can't include a nine in this set of digits. So what does this set of digits have to be? It could be eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It could be seven, six, five, four, three, two, or it could be six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm not sure why I chose to count those backwards. We can distinguish those at this point by looking at these two outside digits. I think that's a little bit technical maybe for, for a gas puzzle, so we're gonna leave that for now. Let's focus over here instead. I think this might give us something better to get a toehold in. So these digits could either be six, seven, eight, and nine, or five, six, seven, and eight. Either way, there has to be a six and a seven there. This can't be a nine because if it was a nine, the next digit would have to be an eight. And in general, these digits can't be increasing because we can't go five, six, seven, eight, we'd run into eight. We can't go six, seven, eight, nine. Again, we'd run into eight. We'd have a second eight in the column. We can't go seven, eight, nine, ten, because you're not allowed to use a ten in Sudoku. So these digits are increase or decreasing, going bottom to top. So the highest one is five, six, or seven. Then the next one's four, five, or six, three, four, or five, two, three, or four. So there are some eliminations we can make. Namely, this cell can't be two or four. So that's going to be a three, making this a four, a five, and a six. And because we can't use a five on the run band line anymore, that has to be a seven, nine pair, and this is gonna be a two. Now with that cell containing a two, we have consecutive numbers. We can't go down, because we go two, one, zero, negative one, which breaks. So these have to be two, three, four, five. And that tells us that along this run band line, five must be the lowest digit, because the next lowest digit, four, is off of the line. So this line is five, six, seven, eight, nine, making this a one. And now we can use consecutive numbers, one, two, three, to finish this column. These are going to be five, six, seven, and eight. I'm going to eliminate three and four from here and mark the rest of these as five, seven, eight, nine for the region. And so to have a consecutive pair here, we can't have a five for sure. Five also can't be there, so five must be there, and we can eliminate five from these cells. This is either seven and eight or eight and nine. Either way, it has an eight, so eight can't go there. We'll probably use that later. This two cell run band line is either five and four or five and six, and we've already used four. So it's five and six, making this a seven and a nine and a one, which resolves that into two, 
and makes that cell either a one or a three. Now that we've placed the nine, that's gonna be a seven. I'm gonna make some quick eliminations here, seven, six, and five there. Okay, so what can we put in these cells? So in this region, we already have three, four, eight, and nine, right? So we still need one, two, five, six, and seven. I can't have a six here though, because there's a six in the row already. And five and seven are not consecutive. So this must be a one, two pair. And that tells me that these digits are exactly five, seven, eight, and nine. And I eliminate five from those two because they appear in the columns already. That makes this digit a five. Okay. Now what can I place next? I need five, seven, eight, and nine here and five and nine are already in the row. So I have the seven, eight pair. That makes this a nine and makes this a five. And seven and eight are resolved by the eight up here. Perfect. Now these cells are going to contain two, four, and six. This can't be a two. These are going to contain one, three, and nine. And because this has to be part of a Renban with four and five, this must be my three. So this also cannot be a three. Now this Renban, this is kind of interesting because we're gonna use the fact that digits can't repeat along a Renban. So we've already placed an eight over here. So we can't have another eight up here. So eight goes there. This is now a nine and that's a seven and we eliminate seven from here. So now we have a five and an eight and a nine. So how do we make a consecutive set of five digits that uses all three of those numbers? Well, it has to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have to fill in six and seven, which are the two digits of those that we don't have yet. Okay, so that means in this region, we still need one, three, four, eight, and nine. Okay, so we can't have a three here. We definitely can't have a one because these are consecutive and it can't be a one, two pair. And then four is too small to be part of a pair with eight or nine. So that's an eight, nine pair, making this a seven and making this an eight. That makes this a six and a four and places are seven. We can also eliminate eight and nine from these cells. And we can eliminate four from here. This eight gives us a nine and an eight. This is now a one and a nine. I can eliminate one from those cells. And finally, I know that this is in fact a one and not a three. I placed a seven there, I can eliminate seven. Um, I still need, oh, that's gonna be a two there because I have a four and six in the column. This is now going to be a one. I can eliminate three here and I can eliminate four here. So this all resolves. And I have a four here now. This is going to be a um, six and I need a two there and now I have a six in the region, I can eliminate six from those cells. Okay, let's finish up using Sudoku techniques. So in this column, I need a one, a four, and a nine. I can eliminate one there. In this column, I need two, three, and eight. I can eliminate two here. I can eliminate six here as well because there's a six in the row. What do I need here? So I have a three, I can't put a five on this column. So this has to be either one, two, three, four, and that's actually all it can be because it can't be two, three, four, five. Otherwise I would need to have a five. So this must be a nine in the column. That's my last digit that I still need to place. One doesn't go there. This can't be a nine. What do I still need for, oh, I wasn't looking at this line. So this must be seven and eight for those two to be consecutive. That makes this a six. And I can't have an eight here. And what do I still need? I have a one, five, and nine here, so I can eliminate five from here. This is now a four. And I need one, two, three, and four there. So that's one, two, or three. I still need in the column one, two, three, and five. Five can't go there, so there's my five. That makes this an eight and resolves the rest of this Renban. And now that I've placed an eight in row six, that's gonna be a three, a four, or a three. Eliminate two there, eliminate three from this cell, makes that a one, and we should be finished. And that is how you solve Consequential by Philip Newman. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, if you want to solve it yourself, the link to the puzzle in the software, SudokuPad, is in the description below this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.